sure people agree to now so that they join us at this very o'clock for news on the hour for Plus TV Africa. My name is I promise Nero and the Tudor Mr. Mosama Governor did this. They said Inspector General of Police Mohammed Adamo on Wednesday gave update for the operation for further when we say they take tackle the kidnap and body three nationwide. When we say the police don't arrest 2,175 suspects since April 5th. The IG said the police operative when we say they join with the operation for further don't see safe to kidnap people within the period and call call for tougher legislation against kidnap and banditry, like to seize their assets when we say linked to these crimes. Adamu took this one and said the touchlight matter with delegation of the Association of Local Government of Niger and Nasrawa State Chapter when we say they go see him for an office, official quarters for Abuja. And one year when we say the first public relations officer, DCP, uh, Frank Oba, the IG talk, he said the 2175 suspects include 852 when we say they arrest for kidnap, 865 for armed robbery, 359 for kili kili, and 99 for courtism. Mbasi, the IG called for the tough legislation against kidnapping and banditry with possible state seizure of assets when we say linked to what the kidnappers collect and other crimes. The IGP believes say they will act as strong body to bunger kidnappers and other criminals. There's in a, like 60 suspect bandits when we say they call Sarasuka, nine they do arrest within the Baoshi metropolis. The Air Force talk on when they say they don't scatter the house of plenty Boko Haram for the fringe of Lake Shard and scores of terrorists when we say they kill. The Tok Tok person, Air Commodore Ibikunle Darabola, uh, he say they do this work after intelligence reports confirm say the bad people did the area. According to Ram, uh, the sustained air offensive against a remnant of Islamic State of West Africa province is what fighters for the fringe of Lake Shard don't get another result. As the Air Tax Force ETF of Operation Lafayette for June 5, 2019, scattered the terrorist house and property them for Tubun, Kiowa, inside Northern Bruno State. The Mieti Ala Kato Breeders Association of Nigeria, a South East Zone, said they don't get any wala against any state for the zone, not talk less of plot against any form of bigot. The association of one press conference for Okadi Anambra State Capital, the 91 media report when they say they say hard men go come cause wala for the area. But because they say make their cow no shop grass. The Shemu of Magban Sat is the zone, as uh, Gedado Siddiqui, he talks some story when we say it makes sense. Former Defense Minister Lieutenant General Teofilos Danjuma, retired former military governor of the River State, General Zamani Lekwot, retired and Chief Solomon Asemota's son, don't tell the United Kingdom Parliament say President Muhammad Buhari that they pursue one jihad or Islamization agenda and not serious to tackle insecurity when we say they come from the Boko Haram insurgency and has made farmers begin for the country. The trial act under the uh, aegis of the Nigeria Christian Elders Forum, NCEF, where we say they still get General Joshua, Adogo Yaro, retired Justice Kalajine, and Igbogu, Eda Matthew, Owojaye, Dr. Kate, Opaleke, and Eda Moses, Ehonde, as members. The Christian Elders blame Lord Lugas, say he sowed the seed of ethno religious beke and dichotomy between northern and southern Nigeria, and counter deepening of the democracy and rejection of Sharia for their position for the people when visit their date to June 3rd to the All Party Parliamentary Group for International Freedom of Religion or Belief. Earlier for our of the press program bio, Olopo Hunda is shared talk more uh, for more the, of the palaver when we say it happened. That has its background in the um, the headsman crisis, mm. the fear that um, is being backed by the establishment that the president is not doing a lot to address it, this issue, and then um, you see the Taraba issues, people that have been killed in Benue and a couple of other um, mm. northern states. So of course, people have people have um, people have this genuine concern that the government is not doing anything. About the headsman crisis, yeah. So that's important, and that's why you see all of the thought leaders coming together to. To, uh, push this agenda of um, addressing this issue with the UK Parliament and all of that. Danjuma has spoken about it. I remember recently, Obasanjo also spoke about um, about the and, and Islamization. Islamization agenda. Uh, yes, and then you know, and it dovetails into Buhari attending OIC conference and all of that. But again, this has always been the issue with our country: the issue of religion, the issue of ethnicity, trust, not building trust with the people. So it's important that the government, the Buhari, has to address. This issue, issues. He must speak about them. He must.
must give people assurance that this is not happening. Because pe when people have these fears, then they have, to, they have the right to have the fears when people are being killed all over the Nothing country. Is done convincingly. And yes, yes, convincingly. So yes, of course, these guys have the right to push um, this. In June 12, um, must address this issue of Fulanization and Islamization. But let me, let, me, let me tell you something, David. The issue of Islamization and Islamization as, is, a yes, is, is, yes, is, is as old as Nigeria. First, Buhari is not the first president to attend OIC. When, Buhari, when Babangida pushed us into, moved us into OIC in 1986, mm. I mean, that, that has always been there. The issue has always been there. So yes, of course, but we need the leadership to, add, to, let, to, to tell Nigeria this is a secular state, and we must remain like, it must remain a secular state. Mm. Governor Atiku Bagudu of Kebi State don't approve the appointment of Babale Ayori as secretary to the state government, SSG, and Suleiman Agungu as chief of staff, COS. The appointment day for the statement when he said the chief press secretary to Bagudu, Abubakar Dakengari, signed for Benin Kebi. On Thursday, Dakengari said Oga Abugudu don't get confidence for the ability, capability, and dedication of Oga Yuri to continue with his service as SSG. Both appointments are sharp, sharp. The news agency of Nigeria reports Oga Agungu now before for deputy governor of the state and he served as the director general of the campaign organization of the ecobe for 2015 and 2019 general election as we talk about party politics now yakini in abeda won the all progressive congress shifting the kologa president mamad buari as the party leader to put part for the palava between john odige oyegun the party before national shemo and adam sochomole when be the national shemo as the party palava take the for the reference of other state of the federation when we say they come from the mode of primaries ahead of the 2019 general election, they don't suffer blame for Shumole and other uh, and Odige Oyegun head. This will follow the matter of the party electoral victory for Zamfara by the Supreme Court and the loss where they suffer for some states. Meanwhile, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, don't caution all progressive Congress, APC, made their focus. And they still ask the ruling party make their stop to they drag the name of the PDP and Etana Beke. And the opposition party say this one day for the one when we say upon Wednesday by the National Publicity Secretary, Kola Lobodia, for one reaction to the year when we say the APC takes slam the party. The PDP some accused give the ruling party say they push Nigeria into economic palaver. The opposition party say they're not going to join the APC for the year year dance. Teachers of government primary and secondary school for Abia State don't start work off indefinite strike. The primary teachers, uh, they say they never pay them uh, their TSS money to date. Why their secondary school can't help us say make them pay them their 10 month salary areas? One teacher say the union do this work out because the government no agree pay them. The chairman of the Nigeria Labor Congress and the Comrade Uchena of Big Way confirmed the strike. Obigwe said the governor, after one meeting with labor and NUT leaders, released one million and fifty thousand uh, from inside the May fact to pay some months of the areas. The presidency don't meet with electricity distribution company to resolve some of the matter when they have the electricity supply industry. They say the chief of staff to the president, Abba Kayeri, uh, get one meeting with the discourse last week before the presidential inauguration and the before week uh, with representative of the Minister of Power, Works and Housing, the Bureau of Public Enterprise and the Nigeria Bulk Electricity Trading, they show face. As reports take day, they say the meeting had to resolve the liquidity begin for the sector and improve service delivery by the disco there. The meeting examine power distribution project when we see the German government will feel help the disco with. More than five years after the privatization of the sector, the investor when we see they take over the sixth generation company and eleven disco when we see they collaborate after the palabra of the power holding company of Nigeria still deal with the whole problem of the sector. The sector gets to Wahala of gas supply shortage, small distribution network, small transmission line capacity, big uh, metering gap, electricity tiff tiff, and high technical commercial laws and others. Bayer Lupo Honda is still talking mind on top of this matter. The issue of power is connected to everything. I mean, for all of, for the, with the economy, with um, social security, for, for even the issue of security, the power is very central to uh, all of these. Because the, 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 the sector is still playing with the old issues, you know, the issue of transmission, gas shortages, you metering. know, uh, yes, metering, theft of electricity, you know, the transmission, transmission lines are not enough, they are chaotic. So again, for all of the investors that have come to Nigeria to invest in this project, it's really been, 
a very sad situation for them, really. Let me, let's start with the issue of electricity theft. People are stealing electricity. I mean, I, I can imagine how much that sector is losing to electricity theft in the last in the last decade that the the, the, the power sector reform has been put in place. So really, yes, it's good that the presidency is taking steps. Um, I mean, to address that issue. I mean, the, the current minister has really tried a lot to uh, decentralize. Even the power sector reform actually decentralized and allows, you know, institutions, you know, um, companies and all of that. Even Lagos State has a, 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 sorry, a, generation, a generating um, a capacity mm -hmm. on their own. So yes, it's good that, um, that this is happening, really, that the president should meet with all of this to address some of the issues that we have mentioned now. Mm -hmm. yeah, so the power sector has been privatized. And that's, that's, that's even, that's some even- have called for a reversal of this. Well, that, 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 that is, 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 has even been backed by law. That would be difficult, okay? People have invested, people have come into the country to invest in, in distribution, in transmission, in, genera in generation. So the reversing it, reversing the present, um, and the, the, the sector as it is right now, as it has been privatized, will be very difficult. I mean, there will be a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of um, things that have to be changed in terms of law. But what I think we should do going forward, what the, what the government should do going forward is to create the enabling environment for all of the people that have invested in this in this sector, in terms of generating, in terms of transmission, we, you see the transmission lines, they're really chaotic. People are stealing electricity. If you go to the rural areas, some areas are not even metered, some areas are not, there are, are, no, are no power lines in those areas. So how do, how do we get to those places? How do we ensure that powers are not um, stolen? That, that's really very important going forward. But I said this, the, the government need to create a, a, an enabling environment for those that have invested in, this, in, the, in the power sector. You, there is the issue of corruption with the metering system. There are a lot of cartels you know, prof, in, in, the, in the power sector itself, in the old power sector, those, those remnants of people that have remained in the power sector that are, that are, that are profiting from, from selling metering to people so and that's really very important and, and people also have to know their rights a lot of people still pay for meter and it's supposed to be free mm. so yeah as as, far, as as regards local production of meters that is really very important and that's that has to be pushed all right on so our time to take one sharp break when we show back with someone have plenty of that to read them they cannot go anywhere One Sudanese official don't deny saying at least 100 people nine die on top of the paramilitary unit during one I know great worker. He said the number now almost uh, 46 doctors when they said they linked to the opposition on Wednesday. He talks at least 100 people nine they killed for the capital, Khartoum, for inside the middle of pro democracy protest. They say 40 bodies they nine they pulled from the river Nile for inside Khartoum on Tuesday. Authorities they stay quiet, but the head minister and official don't put the number for 46 early on Thursday. Kenya President Uhuru Kenyatta don't renew the central bank governor Patrick Onjorogo term, according by local uh, station citizen television on Thursday. Uh, the first appoint to Jorogo uh, to impose for June 2015 for four-year term when they say they renew it once. Jorogo is a U.S. educated economist and he don't work as advisor for the International Monetary Fund before he become governor for 2015. During the first term, the government had been introduced um, as a for example, one cap on top of the commercial lending rate for 2016, as well as ban on top insurance of new commercial bank license for 2015. For inside the time, the temporary closure of the Chase Bank, Kenya, when we say follow the closure of Imperial Bank, another mid-sized lender, and Dubai Bank, Kenya, a small lender, when we say we don't come out confidence for the industry, and when we say they also see increase for the bad debt. The news will continue after this chicken break. We're gonna not go anywhere. Before, before Vatican Treasurer Cardinal George Bell done show face for inside the Australian court on Thursday, June 6th, for the second and final day of the court hearing, when they say they seek to overturn a conviction on top five historical charges says of first them. The 77 year old will be day jailed for six years after they find a guilty on top five charges of abusing two 13 year old boys for St. Patrick Cathedral, where he still be Archbishop of Melbourne. Uh, more than 20 years ago. A uh, pair the highest ranking Catholic cleric worldwide had uh, to be convicted for inside child sex offense. They say the Australian journalists face jail for the one where they say they hold a classified informant. And our authorities and lawmakers talk on Thursday as police when they say they expand the scope of the investigate after they raid two media organizations. 
Police go read the head office of the government, uh, when they say funded by Australian Broadcasting Corporation, ABC, for Sydney. Uh, one day after they read the home of the new corporation editor. The raid when they say the police say no, uh, you know, they related, they don't make uh, many people uh, they complain of the assault of press freedom. The Australian Federal uh, Police AFP initial talks say the raid, they in relation to them say that they took crime on top of the classified informate. When we say that they say media will receive any informate, nobody they affected. The police later they change math on top of their website to include a possible crime when we say that they receive national secrets. No sector of the community should be immune for this type of activity or evidence collection more broadly. This includes law enforcement itself, the media or indeed even politicians. Any inference that suggests our decisions were influenced by anyone else outside the organisation is strongly refuted. I reject the claim over the last few days that we are trying to intimidate journalists or conduct a campaign against the media. The AFP is a strong supporter of press freedom. The media plays an important role in today's society in keeping the Australian community informed. I think it's important to say at this phase that we are in the evidence collection phase of the investigation. Now, clearly, um, we've got a long way to go, but certainly in relation to who is... We've got a person before the court already. It's in the public domain in relation to what's been referred to as the Afghan files matter. Um, that that matter is ongoing. I'm not going to rule in or rule out um, anyone being subjected to further charges. Yeah, I think that's that inappropriate. That it's important that people realise the reason why we are so strongly in our view of well, certainly protecting top secret and secret information is that the Australian government, or particularly the Australian law enforcement and intelligence communities, rely on secret and top secret information from our international partners, particularly Five Eyes partners, to ensure the fact that we keep the Australian community safe. Now, if we can't be seen, if we can't be seen to protect our own internal information, we, we are concerned that the information flow to us dries up. Theresa May and French President Emmanuel Macron don't join the day retired soldiers for northern France for the second day of event to mark the 75th anniversary of the Normandy invasion. One lone piper and I play to mark the moment when we said the first UK soldiers will be go. Uh, for inside the inauguration ceremony. And Mrs. May said the retired soldiers say, make them thank you. Why Ms. Uh, Macron talks say, we owe them our freedom. Hundreds of retired soldiers don't gather for the Normandy for the anniversary of the largest combined land, air and naval operation for history. Combattu pour que le sol français redevienne libre. Thank you, President Macron, for your support to ensure a lasting monument to the service and sacrifice of those who fought in the Battle of Normandy, something which means so much to our veteran community and to the whole of the British nation. Standing here as the waves wash quietly onto the shore below us, it's almost impossible to grasp the raw courage it must have taken that day to leap from landing craft and into the surf, despite the fury of battle. No one could be certain what the 6th of June would bring. No one would know how this, the most ambitious, amphibious and airborne assault in all of human history, would turn out. Here in Normandy, we will always remember their courage, their commitment, their conviction. And to our veterans, here in Normandy today, I want to say the only words we can. Thank you. U.S. President Donald Trump on Thursday or threaten to hit China with at least another $300 billion tax. But he say if they think say both China and Mexico want to make deal for inside their trade dispute with the United States. Got President Trump a follow reporters young before he bought Air Force. Air Force, one of the Irish airport of Channel. But he not specify uh, which goods could uh, when we say could they affected. Mexican and US officials don't say to resume their yarns for Washington when we say nah, they want to, to avoid one imposition of tax on Mexican goods. Trump said a five percent tax on top of the Mexico export to the United States they due to start on Monday. And they could do them if no development, they on top of the talk. So we're going together. 
to Normandy and it's going to be something really special. It looks like the weather is beautiful, but who knows, it changes fast. I think it's going to be an incredible, special day in a very special and very important place. So I look forward to that. As you know, uh, Mexico was in yesterday. They're coming back this morning in Washington. They'll be meeting at the White House. I think a lot of progress was made yesterday, but we have to make a lot of progress. Mexico's been making for many, many years hundreds of, mi of billions of dollars. I mean, they've been making an absolute fortune on the United States. They have to step up and they have to step up to the plate. And perhaps they will. We're going to see. They can solve the problem. The Democrats, uh, Congress has been a disaster. They won't change. They won't do anything. They want free immigration, immigration to pour into our country. They don't care who it is. They don't care what kind of a record they have. It doesn't make any difference. They're not going to be changing anything. We go to them. We say, let's fix the immigration laws. They just want it to do badly. The worse it does, the happier they are. So that's the way it is. And I guess that's the way it'll be till after the election. It's a disgrace. Because frankly, we could solve this problem so easy if the Democrats in Congress we're willing to make some changes, but they're not, and that's the way it is. They want to just ride it out. They want to have a real bad time. They don't care about crime. They don't care about drugs pouring into our country. They couldn't care less. It's all politics. It's a vicious business. So that's the way it is. But we're having a great talk with Mexico. We'll see what happens. But uh, something pretty dramatic could happen. Uh, we've told Mexico the tariffs go on, and I mean it, too. And I'm very happy with it. And a lot of people, senators included, they have no idea what they're talking about when it comes to tariffs. They have no, absolutely no idea. When you have the money, when you have the product, when you have the thing that everybody wants, you're in a position to do very well with tariffs, and that's where we are. We're the piggy bank. The United States is the piggy bank. It has all the money that others want to take from us, but they're not taking it so easy anymore. It's a lot different. Our talks with China, a lot of interesting things are happening. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, we're getting 25 percent on $250 billion, and I could go up another at least $300 billion, and I'll do that at the right time. But I think China wants to make a deal badly. I think Mexico wants to make a deal badly, and I'm going to Normandy. Our next one, now business news. As the U.S.-China trade war the de grand, a Chinese rare earth prices don't already climb go up for multi-year when we say follow report from the state media. According to state media, Beijing fee potentially weaponized their supply, a dominance of the price minerals for the trade war with Washington. Rare earth, one group of 70 elements, uh, that one, uh, the one where we say they show for low concentration for the ground, uh, day for the use for wide range of products, when we say they stretch from lasers and military equipment to magnets, when we say they see for consumer electronics. Between 2014 and 2017, China supplied 80% of the rare earth when the United States they import. Chinese state newspaper talks on matters say Beijing fee use them as opportunity for the trade dispute between the two. Rian Castillo, the managing director of Adamas Intelligence, one consultant when we say that they track rare earth market, say magnet related rare earth and the idea material to weaponize because that they very so casual to high demand when we say they highly competitive and price sensitive for the industry. The German government when the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation support they don't drop two million euros to do the second phase of the competitive African rights initiative, CARI, for Nigeria. Now the program director of CARI, Olga Jean Bernard Lalanine, and I talked this one on Wednesday for Abuja. According to Lalane, at the second phase of the project, when we say they call Kari 2, then they go do for Kebe, Kaduna, and Jigawa State. When we say they want to take help smallholder farmers to increase their income, the news agency of Nigeria now reports say they launch Kari for four African countries, when we say they be Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Ghana, and Tanzania for 2013. Lalane said the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, and they be the shook body for Kari 2 when it starts June 2018, and they expect them to last in June 2021. As the TikTok, uh, the project will focus for business linkage for the rice sector to make the producers they connected with the market processors them, rice milers and agrifitors and input dealers. Stay to come for Plus TV Africa News. Now we we'll round up on top entertainment with a showback. back.
Park Life Music Festival is on Talk Sierra Park Cardi B. No go headline their main station Saturday, June 8, 2019. For one year, when busy, they share for their social media channels. Park Life organizers, they say, as some of them go down, see their first Cardi B to cancel some performance for me. The Park Life team just got information, say Cardi one come on body from Park Life this weekend. They say they're sorry for the late notice. We happy well laugh for Park Life this weekend and no few ways to see you. This one, they come after the Grammy-winning rapper carry in show for U.S. under doctor order to let her body heal from cosmetic breast surgery and liposuction. Even as they played the Summer Jam Festival for New Jersey last weekend due to, she don't cancel all the other shows. For one Instagram video, the mother of one says she hate to cancel show because she like money wella wella, but hate now word. That now for entertainment, the last one, now for sports. See the all come out Brazilian superstar from the 2019 Copa America tournament after he suffered ruptured ankle ligament for a nation two nil friendly match win over Qatar. The 27 year old won't join a right ankle for inside the first half of the match and a crack come off for the feed. After evaluation and complementary imaging test, the Brazilian medical team don't confirm a ligament rupture for your ankle. Neymar don't get a plenty of job over the last five years when they don't delay a game. The biggest one at the back injury when they say make him and miss a Brazilian semi final match against uh, Germany for the 2014 World Cup. He comes of a broken foot for inside the month when they say lead up to the 2018 World Cup and the last three months of the just concluded league season. Italian goalkeeper Gigi uh, Buffon don't announce he exit from French champions for Paris Saint Germain PSG for inside the end of the month when the contract will expire. The 41 year old be joined PSG from Juventus for a year deal in 2018 and he don't decide not to take up PSG contract extension offer. Buffon don't play 25 matches for the competitive for the club as he helped them win the French league when he said the title. Buffon uh, don't win nine Serie A series with Juventus for 70 years and he won the World Cup with Italy for 2006. Nobody know if he go cut time on top of the trophy laden glittering career or continue to play for the new club. On that do well when we'll to join us on top player news on the hour for Plus TV Africa. For more information and better correct information, we'll follow us for Plus TV Africa on top Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And it will make sense if you we'll subscribe to our YouTube page at Plus TV Africa. We we'll see the summer and plenty other three them as time they go. My name is Promise Nero, and I thank you now when we'll to join us on top this very clock. Una, we're done.